Hello there. This video, we are going to talk about WD Caviar Green 3.5 inches SATA hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk data recovery. For this case, the printed circuit board number is 2060-771853-000. The hard drive model number is WD20EARX-008FB0 Part 1 Printed Circuit Board Repair How the hard drive printed circuit board works in a computer The data is stored in the hard drive The computer accesses the data through the hard drive printed circuit board. The schematic diagram of a hard drive printed circuit board. We use SATA hard drive as an example. This picture shows the schematic diagram of a hard drive and the basic components of the hard drive. The basic components are 1. PCB actuator contacts 2. Cache 3. BIOS 4. Controller 5. PCB setup port 6. PCB motor contacts 7. Motor IC How the printed circuit board, the hard drive, and the computer work together. This schematic diagram shows how the printed circuit board, the hard drive, and the computer work together. This picture shows how the hard drive printed circuit board transfers the data between the computer and the hard drive. Three common methods to fix a hard drive printed circuit board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Swap the printed circuit board. 3. Repair the printed circuit board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. Fixing the hard drive printed circuit board method 2. The printed circuit board swap. 1. Find the correct donor board. 2. The printed circuit board firmware transfer. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. Locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Find out the printed circuit board number of the hard drive. The picture 1 shows the printed circuit board number location of this model hard drive. Different printed circuit boards the printed circuit board number locations are different. Picture 2 shows some printed circuit board number locations of the different PCBs. If you want to find out your own PCB number, you may go to www.hdd-parts.com which lists most of the PCB information in detail. We use hard drive model number, PCB board number, and PCB board stick number and CPU number as well as reference to search for the donor PCB board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware 
PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 1. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our printed circuit board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not do the printed circuit board firmware transfer? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer cannot detect the hard drive. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS. And uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB boards BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware, we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of these kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, 
if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. This picture shows how can we help you to find the donor PCB board for your hard drive. 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and its PCB board. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com. 3. You will receive the donor PCB board information within 24 hours. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCBs to us. 1. Make a cardboard folder. 2. Tape the PCB to the cardboard folder. 3. Write down your order number, email address, phone number, and shipping address on the cardboard folder. 4. Insert the cardboard folder into a bubble mailer. 5. Seal the bubble mailer seal firmly. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. Fix printed circuit board method three. Repair the printed circuit board. This picture shows the basic components and their functions on the printed circuit board. This picture shows some regular components on the printed circuit board. This picture shows some crap signals on the PCB board. Motor contacts lose problem. Symptom. The motor can spin but cannot reach its full speed. Cause. Lose motor contacts. Solution. Resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Here is the sound from the loose motor contacts problem hard drive. <laughs> Motor contacts lose problem. Symptom. The motor can spin, but cannot reach its full speed. Cause. Lose motor contacts. Solution. Resolder replace the loose contacts or replace the PCB. Motor IC problem. Symptom. The motor IC is overheat, or the hard drive does not spin. Possible reason, the motor IC is bad. Solution, replace the motor IC. Note, replacing the motor IC only can fix the bad motor IC problem. If the hard drive PCB other part got problem, or the hard drive itself got problem, Replacing the motor IC will not help. How to fix a hard drive motor IC problem? 1. The bad motor IC problem symptom. The hard drive does not spin. There are many reasons to cause a hard drive to stop spinning. The bad motor IC is one of them. The bad motor IC may or may not have the burned mark on it. 2. Remove the bad motor IC. 3. Replace the bad motor IC with the new one. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery 
There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hard drive PCB board. Swapping the hard drive PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. How do we cool down the heat contributor IC from the outside? Step 1. Heat transfer pad preparation. Peel off the protection sheet from both sides of the heat transfer pad, like the picture 1 shows. Step 2. Prepare a heat sink, like the picture 2 shows. Step 3. Put the heat transfer pad onto the heat sink, like the picture 3 shows. Step 4. Put the heat sink to the heat contributor IC area on the PCB, like the picture 4 shows. Disk firmware corruption symptom the hard drive spins fine, but the computer cannot see the hard drive, and even the software based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason Disk firmware corruption. Recommendation Try disk firmware repair tools like PC3000 or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. Common disk assembly problems. The hard drive disk assembly could be damaged by shocking, overheat, power surge, and many other reasons. The common symptoms of disk assembly problems are 1. The hard drive makes clicking, buzzy, or any other weird sound. 2. The hard drive does not spin. 3. The hard drive spins, but not detectable. 4. The hard drive is detectable, but with wrong size and not accessible. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.